Hi everybody, I wanted to do a quick tutorial for those who do not own a Silhouette machine who will be uh, taking advantage of the free download, the Silhouette Studio download and the details or the information and instructions on how to download the software from SilhouetteAmerica.com that will be at the end of this tutorial so please stick around for that if you do need assistance with that but I wanted to show how you do not need to own a Silhouette machine you could still utilize and take advantage of the Silhouette Studio um, because it is very easy to design in here much easier for me at least than Photoshop and Illustrator so I wanted to walk through some of the features you can watch the other tutorials things to ignore would be the registration marks on the top that I won't even show you and anything that I say cut lines so let's just the most important thing I think if you're just going to design in Silhouette Studio and then print and fussy cut or just print design and print would be to get rid of this border here this gray area this gray line actually is the print line so whatever is within this box will print anything outside of the box will not print and just FYI for your information this red line is the cut line but you won't have to worry about that because you won't be cutting so if you go up to file and you go to print page setup so once you're in print page setup format for this cannot be set to any printer to get a borderless print um, for the page size US letter will be the only option here or I shouldn't say the only option you will not have a borderless option for letter however if you select format for and you select your printer the type of printer that you have then when you go into the pa paper size if you scroll to the right you'll see there's an option for US letter borderless or maybe letter borderless but something that does say borderless that option should be there so if you click on that and click OK you'll notice that that gray print border that print line is gone so now you can design in here and design and do full sheets so whether it's and I do recommend that you watch the printing pattern paper that I think would be helpful but I wanted to show you that anything that you design in here so actually if you wanted to bring in some clip arts so let's just bring in a few things let's bring in this girl just drag and drop her from your files there is a way to import it however I choose not to work that way let's choose a pair of boots and let's see a bow Seems like I keep gravitating to florals and reds I'll get some greens in there let's see a bow clip get that green plaid bow clip so just grab it with your mouse drag it and release it just make sure you don't override it override something else that you've already dragged and dropped so let's just place it there let's get a few more there's the ornament let's get a snow globe of course they're just so pretty. Let's get the snowman. Let's get a stocking. I think that's good. Oh, and a truck, of course. Okay, so let's, and a floral. <laughs> There's just so many beautiful clip arts to choose from. So let's say that you wanted all of these or some of these so whatever you place on this mat is what will print now you can save all of you can save your project you can leave these all on here and maybe you're just gonna print these two and you want them to be large 
So there's the size 4.5 by 9.727. We'll just grab the icons from either corners, the upper left, right, bottom left, or right. Never grab it from the middle. I'll show you on the girl will be the easiest. So don't grab from the bottom. It's going to warp the icon. So the undo button is my best friend and maybe she'll become your best friend too. <laughs> so if this is what you wanted to print out and then fussy cut out, then you can leave all of these on here. It's not going to print. This is like your work area. So I just, I usually keep a lot of stuff on here just so I don't have to keep dragging and dropping things. You can also copy this right click copy it and go into another paste it another page if you wanted to design something else with her so you can keep her there if you wanted to add background paper to her a box background paper um, you can do that and so what I would do is I would then design this go to file print once the printer printer comes up then I think from here what I would recommend is maybe just changing your quality and media for the Canon if you want to print on that Canon matte photo paper that Christy recommends or I, I, I would highly recommend it also. It's beautiful. These colors print so vibrantly on there. It's gorgeous. The only thing is it's one-sided, which I think is ideal for die cuts. Um, it's great. I'm still going to use it for pattern paper. But um, if you're going to print on a Canon matte photo paper, for my Canon printer, I select matte photo paper. There's other choices here. And it just depends on the type of printer that you have. And I would keep it on high. So the print quality I want high. You can change it to standard. You can customize it. And then you'd hit print. And then from there, you'd go ahead and fussy cut around it. After on the hard copy with your scissors. Okay. So I think, let's see, if you wanted to fit as much on here as you could. Another thing you could do is zoom out a bit. I know these are small enough, so let's drag this on. Now you can highlight all of this and make it smaller with like a one shot. And then you can make it smaller once it's on here. So now if I wanted to try to squeeze in some things, let me just zoom in. What you could do is you can click on your item and this green dot on the top will allow you to rotate your image. So that you can squeeze as much on your paper as you can and you won't waste space. So you can also, let's see, I'm trying to show you some easier options. And you can flip it so the boots are the other way. And you can squeeze it in. Or actually, if you're fussy cutting, you probably don't want it to be that close. So I would just go ahead and fill in a page like this here. Rotate this around. And this is just a really easy, quick summary overview of some of the things you can just quickly do easily without going into all the details and hassles. You can also do layers and all that other stuff. But um, I would recommend maybe watching some of the other videos because everything that I show, you can still do. Just don't worry about the print and cut. Layer it onto a paper, print it, and then 
go to town with the fussy cutting. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and again stick around and in a few seconds the tutorial on how to download the free Silhouette Studio Basic Edition, I will show you that. Thank you! Before we get started, I wanted to mention that I will be designing everything with the Silhouette software, but you don't need to own a Silhouette machine or have the business edition of the Silhouette software. You can use just the basic one. The most important thing is that you have the most current one, which will have the icons or all the features on the right hand side. Before it used to be on the top. A silhouette this year did a big update to the software so the features and the keys are in different places drastically so please make sure you update it if you don't have the software you can go to silhouette America and download it um, all you need to do is hit this update software I know it says update software but that is where you can also download it so if you click there, scroll down, and you need to, it's dependent on whether you have, if you need the Mac edition or the PC edition. I do own a Mac, so I am running the Mac software, but they're, they're identical. I guess it just depends on your platform. So what you would need to do is just click on it, and I'm going to click on Mac. I'm not going to run through the entire um process of how to download it because I don't want to override what I've already have downloaded but I will show you on a Mac so we're just gonna have to wait for it to download so that'll take a few minutes depending on your internet once the software has completely downloaded onto your system then you can click this and it should start to open so verifying and I'm not going to go again through all the steps, but I will show you one that seems to have, it kind of gives people trouble. They think they've completely installed it, but they haven't. And this is just for a Mac again. So what you need to do is drag the software icon, click it, drag it over to the applications. So you would hover over the applications and literally unclick it to drop it in there. This is the step that I'm not going to do. And then you just follow the prompts of whatever um, it'll tell you. And I don't think there's that many steps. And then you'll be able to open up the Silhouette software.